Now, let's hypothetically, I am trying to benefit from this depreciation for this year, right? If I invest before the end of the year, how does this apply for the whole year of 2023? Or is it just for the time that I invest? How does that work? Yeah, under the current tax code, it's, it's a little bit more favorable to you, the taxpayer. And if you invest in a property at the end of the year, you're not getting dinged by something called the mid-quarter convention. Right now with bonus depreciation rates the way they are, um, in 2023, any personal property is 80% bonus, meaning you can almost write off the entire amount of personal property this year. Uh, so if you invest in that property in November, December, you you take whatever that personal property that we can find in that study, and that goes against your income for that year in, in 2023. So you don't even have to be in the asset for the whole year in order to benefit. No, it, again, it's just a matter of, do you have income or some type of investment activity to soak up? Because we, as we're talking cost segregation, there, there's a substantial amount that we can move over and accelerate depreciation. It's just a matter of, do you have enough income in that short amount of time to justify using that? And again, you don't, you don't lose it if you don't use it all. And we have a lot of clients that call us up, Hey, I bought a building December 15th. I just want to get the study done. And uh, they'll just we'll put a loss in there and it carries over to the next year. So you, you just use it. That loss carries over until you utilize it. So.